Michael, are you happy with the point? Uh, I think you take a point. Slightly frustrated that we couldn't go and get the second goal. Um, because I thought after a slow start, I thought we grew into the game quite well and, and cut them open numerous times. And I think if we, go, if we can go and get the second, sort of where we're at a little bit at the minute, sort of just teetering, not being resilient, or oh, being resilient and being hard to beat. Not probably just not quite doing enough. And today it was a, a case of not getting the second goal. But even at the end, I actually turned to a, turned to John it was about five minutes ago. I went, "There'll be a win." I just don't know which one it's going to be. It was a, it was a good game of football. I know that. It was a very watchable game, wasn't it? You know, both teams, you know, both teams did go out to try and get that second and try to win it. Yeah, it's not a case of you know we were coming away from home happy with a point. We want to try and win the games. We want to win as many games as we can, which again is a mindset thing because that's changed from previously when we were coming away trying not to lose. So I think that shows the mentality of the group. Um, you know, slightly disappointed coming away from Port Vale with a, we were a much improved team. So it was, I think it was a good game. It was two contrasting styles, completely different formations. So it's probably why it ended up being a good spectator game. It wasn't very good from there. Another goal for Alex. You know, and he's you know, seven now. He's out on his own as, as, as leading scorer, and you know, he took it very well. Yeah, he did. He, um, you know, that's where we want to, we want to get him in those sort of pockets down the side of centre half because if I was one. I wouldn't want to run against him. Um, but he, he took it well. He had another chance. I think Brownie's made a good save, and obviously Gav had that one on one. Just went the wrong side of the post. So like I said, what ifs and maybe's really. But I think it's a sign of how far that we've come. That we're. we're we're talking that we're slightly disappointed. I think we've just come to fourth in the league, so it's there's a realism to it as well. But the players know the, a draw, a point a game won't get us where, anywhere where we want to be. So it's not a case of not wanting to do that. It's like so we've done everything we could to try and win the game. Unfortunate for Ben, but uh, you know a lot of crosses have been coming into the box, and just unfortunate that he couldn't do it. Yeah, so I've just spoke to him there. He's actually been critical, and could have done a little bit better. I've, I've been in that position many a time and had the same result, unfortunately. So. Um, like I said, that's that's what they do. They they load the box. They, they put plenty of balls in there, um, which is why that we you know, we could play through the middle of the pitch because they strip it a lot of the time. But obviously, on the flip side to that, they get high and wide and put balls in the box. And, and Pope is a threat because if Toes hadn't done it, I'm, I think it would Pope in behind him. He probably would have tapped it anyway. So, did you feel you dealt with Tom Pope a lot better? You know, you knew about him after the cup tour. You feel you, you dealt with him this threat better this time? Uh, if I'm being brutally honest, I thought we dealt with him quite well. He scored a hat he's, he's three balls in the box in 10 minutes, so in 180 minutes he's going to win a few. So it's more we needed to stop it at source with too many balls in the first half coming in, uh, but we, we didn't get out and stop, stop the ball into him. That's where we needed to get better uh, and be a little bit more aggressive in the play, which I thought we did second half. Do you think they are gone? Max Sheaf uh, came back in. How did you feel he did? I thought he did well for an hour. Yeah, no, he'd done very well. He only came off, it was more the momentum thing, we wanted to try and stem it. And, a fresh pair of legs. Um, obviously, Josh. It's more natural to him as well. I thought Josh was excellent when he came on as well. So, no, he's he's, he's a good player. Chief. We've said it all along. It's just unfortunate that he's he sort of come out of the team and Bruno's been sensational um, since he's come in. So he's had to be patient, and but he'll get his opportunities because he's good for football. Just I mean, the point here today. Just keeps that momentum going away from him. Yeah, it's you know, we're nearly halfway through the season. We've lost three games, so we know the draws won't get us enough but it's it's shown a real determination and resilience not to lose games and like I said and Pete and myself but we did everything we, oh the players did everything they could to try and to try and get the win it just didn't come another game in what five days time uh, you know you've got this, any hope that people like Hussey or Varney maybe maybe back for boxing um, hopefully uh, Hussey's a, a minor one so I'm, I don't know how long it'll be. I don't think uh, Reg will be fit for next week. Um, I think Reg is still maybe be a ten days, I'd imagine, um, to two weeks. So he's he's close. We, you know, he's here today supporting the lads. Tells you what he's like. Um, but the, the, the squad will be used because they'll, they'll no doubt will pick up knocks and there's one in, one out. So we'll count the bodies on Monday morning. We uh, we we'll go again. What about somebody like Tav Campbell? Is he anywhere near to coming back into the squad? Yeah, Tav's fit. Um, obviously, he's not had any football, but he's, he's full training now. Um, so he's another one that's going to come in, in into the thoughts. So he's he's available for selection. Yeah. How do you feel George Lloyd did? It was good to see him get out there, get out there for a few minutes because he's another one who hasn't had much chance lately. No, it's it's it is tough. The team's been going well. <laughs> so if you're not in the team, the team's going well. It's hard to get in it. But um, Lloyd did what what we know he can do. He's a 
you know, he's a nuisance, a real um, fresh pair of legs. We just we couldn't couldn't get him a chance, unfortunately. But Lloyd, Lloyd, he's, he's, he's good as God, though. He, he's, he's still learning, he's still developing, so um, I don't think he's quite ready yet. But I, I think he's a player, isn't he? Considering the players you have had out today, Hassan, Reed, Varney, people like that, it's a, it's a testament to the strength of the squad and the depth of the squad that you've been able to put the horns on like that without those team players. Yeah, well, if you look at the, the team that's been going well, it's obviously Ruben has not been available all season, but you've got Connor Thomas who's not in the team, Huss is a key part of what we do, and Reg. So you take three or four key players out of any team, it's going to affect them, but I, I didn't think it affected us too much. So, like I said, it's just that, that one moment of quality we couldn't seem to pick out because we had enough opportunities in their box, just we couldn't find that, that one pass or that one cross.